Hey everybody, what is up? It is Dunbar Snack Bar with a new game here on this channel called Seven Days to Die. It's a game made by a very small company called The Fun Pimps. Anyway, I read about this a couple weeks ago, I want to say. It was just something that came across my Facebook feed uh, talking about this game that mixes DayZ and Minecraft together. I'm like, hmm. Kind of want to take a look at that. And I've been burned by a few games before claiming to be influenced by Minecraft, a.k.a. Starforge. Um, but this looked really cool because this focused on the survival aspect of it. So uh, some people are still waiting for their alpha keys. I got mine. I did go ahead and... Whoa, that guy is in half. All right. Uh, just picking up some stuff from him. But uh, I did donate on the Kickstarter page to the Fun Pimps uh, just to get an alpha key and then I'll, of course, get the beta and the final version of the game. So I do have to stress for everybody, this is the alpha release. So while this game is looking pretty cool thus far, there's a lot more of this game uh, to come. What was really cool is on the Kickstarter campaign, the Fun Pimps were able to go ahead and achieve every single one of their stretch goals. It came down to the very uh, last couple hours here, but you know when uh, you take a look at, at some of the stuff they were saying that they're going to put in before the final release uh, or something that might be uh, post-release. Oh, okay, a little scandalous. Probably dress a little bit better for the zombie apocalypse. All right. Um, but anyway, there's some really cool stuff that I anticipate going to be coming, uh, like drivable cars. Uh, there's going to be some more enemies, uh, ones of different types, like ones that vomit stuff on you, uh, ones that crawl on walls, stuff like that. So this game is going to get pretty intense. So when you take a look at this game and you know, you're watching this video, Remember, this is not the final game. There are going to be bugs. Things are going to improve, but already I'm really liking this. So you can see how it is influenced by Minecraft a little bit here. Um, you know, you've got like an inventory menu. There's crafting, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. You do have the ability to manipulate and create stuff on the terrain. Uh, and you do see that some stuff looks a little blocky. That I anticipate is going to change at some point too. But, alright, so as soon as I spawned, I saw this place. I gotta find out what it is. Oh man, there's already some defenses here. Look at those. You got those spike sticks. If anything walks on it, they're like automatically injured. Uh, kind of like that guy. Now there's blood all over it. But, boom, boom. It's all about the punching. Anyway, so all of these guys drop stuff here too. Well, not all of them, but uh, some of them do. So it's important to go ahead and... Uh, you know, try and uh, go through your kills and find out if there's anything that you can pick up off of them. Like, see, I just got some bottled water. Uh, on the bottom left of your screen, you're going to see a little mini-map, uh, as well as some different things that kind of pertain to your well-being. So, you see, like, a little red meter. That is your overall health. Uh, if you do get hit by a zombie, or you fall a great distance, or you run over one of those uh, wooden uh, spikes, it's going to go down. Over time, we'll go ahead and come back. At least that's what I've been able to find so far myself. Uh, there is a dark blue, or we're just going to call it blue. Uh, that is your stamina. Things like punching. Like right now, as I'm facing three of these guys. i got to get out of here. Dang it, I stepped on one. Um, oh, I'm making them hit it too. So every time I punch, my stamina goes down. You do have the ability to sprint out of an area. Uh, that's, of course, going to draw down your stamina too. The green is food. You will be able to go ahead and scrounge for food. Uh, stuff you'll be able to pick up off of enemies or when you go into buildings, you should be able to find some stuff like that. And then the light blue or aqua is agua or water. So that bottled water that I picked up here, um, I can take a look at drinking that if I need to. So clearing this place out. I went ahead and those zombies, I made them go in like a little bottleneck, so it's easy for me to go ahead and kill them. And I'm surprised I haven't been able to find a gun yet. I mean, when you take a look at the inventory, you can see I've got two magazines for a pistol, but I don't have a pistol yet. So the one thing I like about this place, there is a ton to salvage. Uh, a lot of things I'll be able to pick up. So I'm not going to show you everything that I go ahead and get, but I'm going to pick up this chair. You never know when a chair is going to come in handy. Now that, 
That kind of looks like uh, like something you can uh, trip over and it'll go ahead and blow up like a trip mine. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so you see a lot of this stuff and it may seem like it's not going to come in handy. Like, why would you need hubcaps? Uh, hubcaps, you can actually turn those into landmines that zombies or you can walk on. It'll explode and cause damage and a hole in the ground like this. You probably remember a little bit ago. Yeah, that's right. I punched cement. Uh, there was a huge explosion right behind me as I was punching some zombies. And, well, this is the crater that it left. So the world will be manipulated. It means you can probably make mines, stuff like that. There are going to be some things... Uh, underground that you can go ahead and pick up that's going to allow you to be able to make some explosives and stuff like that. So uh, already creativity is going to be huge. Your resources is going to be huge as well. So you're going to need a base. And I'm figuring I'm going to go ahead and make this particular place my base. Already a lot of um, defenses are set up. You saw some barbed wire. You saw the spikes. Uh, it's got walls around it. And it's got a third level here. So the roof is going to be huge. Now, I am kind of worried because um, there's those stairs going up. So at night, zombies get a lot stronger, a lot faster. So it's going to be tough to take them down. So uh, this particular place is nice because I can see far distances. That lime green land, there's like different biomes in here. There's like scorched earth, uh, desert forest. Um, I can't remember another one, but there's also what's called radiation zones, which is the end of the map. Ah uh, ha ha, I'm going to make you walk on the landmine. Ah, uh, nothing. I wonder what that is then. <laughs> Dang it. All right. I'm going to have to go ahead and just punch her. All right. So all of the, the girl zombies I've noticed in this dress pretty nasty. All right. Um, so I'm going to go back into my little base now. Um, and one thing too, I'm sure you guys have kind of noticed here, not everything is exactly straight. Oh, wall safe. I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff in here. I've been able to go ahead and scrounge some weapons as you can see. Um, but yeah, going back here, the blocks, they're not exactly like straight. You can set it to be straight, but then it has more of like a Minecraft look. And I don't necessarily want that. I mean, I want, uh, you know, a few aesthetic change or, uh, aesthetic changes here, but Anyway, here is the crafting menu. It's a little bit different than Minecraft because it's not like you have a blank space and then you just put in whatever you want. Uh, on the right, it tells you, based off the things that you have in your inventory, what you can go ahead and create. So I can make a sleeping bag, barbed wire, a scrap metal door. The one downside to this here, and I know this is something that's going to improve, so I don't want to make it sound like this is distracting from the game, is I don't know what to put in what places to get some of the stuff. Like, um... You know, iron ingot makes sense, but dang it, I can't get up here. Aha, ah, ha, ha, I know. Remember that chair that I got? I picked up a couple other ones, too. I'm going to set that down. Aha, ah, I'm on the roof. Eat that. Now, if I go ahead and I pick it up, nobody can reach me. I'm just in a good place right now. Can't be better. Oh, my gosh. What the? No. <laughs> It's still alive. That's another thing that I totally forgot. Uh, physics is a huge part of this game. So you can't go ahead and, you know, build like a column and then have uh, wood, metal, whatever it is, stretch for like 30 freaking blocks out from it without being supported. Uh, it doesn't go there. Um, so, you know, the weight that you put on something, depending on what is supporting it, they can cause it to collapse, as you saw. I'm so lucky I fell on that beam on the way down because that broke my fall. Okay, so we're going to skip ahead a little bit here. Obviously, it is getting nighttime. I'm going to hang out on this roof because I don't want to be down there. It's going to get crazy in a little bit. So the game does give you a full-on map just to kind of let you know a little bit about what is in the area. Uh, again, <laughs> if you haven't picked up on this, this is alpha release. So, uh, there are a lot of places, but there is going to be more places to explore down the road. The map is just going to get bigger. So, there I am in the uh, southeast corner of the map. The star, I think, is where I spawn, but this kind of helps me, you know, plan exactly where I want to go and stuff like that. So, um, all right. Now it's really dark. It tells you the time in the top left. See, now they're like running. 
They weren't doing that before. They were just leisurely walking, thinking, oh, I can kill this guy. No, now they're like in this huge frenzy. I got to sit here and wait until day comes. Now, I can hear that they're starting to tear apart the inside of this place. So that kind of, you know, lets me know I can't stay up here forever. I'm going to have to either build a place, repair this, or just kind of improve it. All right, so after hanging out here for a little bit, I saw that my, um, you know, hunger and my thirst, well, that's getting kind of out of hand. So I got to eat. So I was able to get some chili. And that's what I mean. It goes ahead and it brings up my uh, food meter a little bit. Water's going to be the exact same. Your stamina meter, though, depends on uh, how well you are eating and drinking. So if you're full and you're not thirsty, your stamina whew, skyrockets. Like you can see right here, with everything that I drink, my stamina improved. So it is important that you do that stuff. And I think you can starve. Now, there's a zombie in there right now. And, well, I don't know. I'm kind of kind of worried I don't want uh, her to be able to know I'm up here but all right one shot kill now I'm worried because that one shot could cause all these zombies to come up my way they uh, the AI in here is actually pretty good they can hear they can see and apparently they can smell so I don't know if that means that they can follow where you've been stuff like that but it is 645 in the morning I skipped ahead a little bit um, in case I need to sprint back up. All right, I think we're good. I can hear there's zombies in this place right now, but that's okay. I'm ready for them. I can switch to my shotgun, my submachine gun. If I had a sniper rifle, I probably wouldn't use it right now, but now it's 7 o'clock in the morning, so we should be good. All right. See, they've destroyed these stone stairs. But, oh... There's a lot of them over there. Oh, what? No, no, no. You're not supposed to be running. It's the daytime. Oh, come on. Come at me. You and me, amigo. Uh, just what? I'm out of ammo. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. All right. So, lesson learned. I'm not going to head out from the roof until it's like 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. All right, so spawned right back at the beginning. Another zombie. So the one thing, too, is if you do clear an area, there's a chance that zombies will end up coming back here pretty quick. So uh, don't feel safe after you've cleared out an area. They're likely to come back. What are those shadows? All right, so there's three more. So this zombie on the left is one of the tougher ones. Uh, I think he has an ability or something like that, or maybe he's just, just tough to kill, but... Um, anyway, seven ways, uh, seven days to die, excuse me. Great game. I'm absolutely loving it so far. This is not going to be the beginning of my series right here. Uh, by that, I mean I'm going to be starting in a new world just because I just went through a lot of work and I lost everything. So, yeah, really important that you don't die. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to go ahead and get some of that stuff back here. All right, I'm, I'm heading over there. Apparently, I had some stuff in my inventory already. Ah, oh, dang it. I ran out of stamina. Okay. I'm wondering if anything had regenerated, too. You know, like, uh, stuff was put in uh, areas I grabbed from before. No! Everything's gone! Oh, it's not like Minecraft, where if you die, you can go back really quick and pick up some of your stuff, but... Anyway, great game, you guys. I recommend you pick it up. Uh, it will be on Steam soon, or you can go to 7 days, uh, to die com to be able to get access to the game. But you guys are awesome. You really are. Thanks again. As always, I hope you guys have a good one.